Wednesday night, June the 9th. And yeah, I, this is an impromptu. I have been thinking about making some front porch uh, decorations. I want some gnomes. G-N-O-M-E-S. So I'm going to prototype it here. I'm going to go through what I'm thinking about first. I need to know a lot more about gnomes. But, yeah, this is my idea book. This is where I'm going to... I'm not going to write in this book right now because I'm going to use a big thick pen to write down things with because I want you all to be able to see what I'm writing. Let me go out here to chat. Yeah, there's four of you watching already, <laughs> and I just came on five out there. Hello to folks that are out there watching. Sometimes my light, live chat doesn't come on right away, but so this is prototype. for front porch you know I've been doing a lot of hi Arlene you're just dropping by for a minute that's perfectly okay Arlene is one of my mods <laughs> she's usually here early in the morning um, depending on how late I'm up doing this Arlene I might be a little late tomorrow morning Am I buffering? Oh, there I go. Hi, Mary Two. Yes, I'm on late. I'm I'm not going to be on a big, long time. I just want to kind of go through what I'm thinking about and present the idea. And I want to do a little prototype here. So I'm, I want some front porch decorations around my potted plants. G-N-O-M-E-S. Is that spelled right? I think so. <laughs> so, um, I need to know more about gnomes. I know they traditionally wear red caps. I know they have big fuzzy beards and a nose and two eyes <laughs> and a cone-shaped body. So, I, I'm going to say I need to research gnomes. This is things I have to do just to learn more about them. Becky can probably tell me all about gnomes. <laughs> and um, um, as I as I prototype this, I these are not what I'm going to make my porch gnomes out of. I'm going to like I'm thinking of a flower pot, and this is this actually is a little planter pot. You know, you buy your, your potted plants in here and you take them out and transplant them into the ground. Uh, but I'll, I will probably get, let's see, I'm going to put prototype here, proto, and real. So I'm going to put planter, plant, planter, I'm not even, planter, uh, or seedling planter, seedling planter, and then for real, I'm going to get a, a flower pot, because that's what I want out on my porch, uh, and then for the fuzziness of the head, I think I will use, this as a duster, so duster, and larger duster, <laughs> Because I love this. This just looks like a gnome's beard. Larger duster. And I'm sure I can find a larger duster, you know. This was this one we had out in the porch. He <laughs> hasn't been used much. <laughs> and uh, then um, on this, on the flower pot itself, you know, there's always a little hole in the bottom of the flower pot. On this one that I did here, I kind of poked my awl in there and made a hole and then I cut out a little circle and I poked the handle of this down through the flower pot. And that gives me the shape of my gnome. So, um, red felt for the hat. 
and same for uh, I might need a larger piece of I actually have some red plastic I'm not sure uh, if I use I'm gonna put red felt again or uh, if it's outside if it's outside on the porch I might need something that's more durable than felt or uh, I'll have to think about what I want for so this is a research research that what I want to use for that hi Mina hi Brenda D hi Mary too welcome everybody I, I'm not going to be on long here I'm just kind of presenting this DIY upcycle project I want to use things and and for my little prototype everything is upcycled like this these little planter pots have been sitting out in our back porch for goodness knows how long several years ever since I've been here and that's been about five years so and who knows this is not my duster I don't know where the duster came from probably five years for that too I just grabbed stuff I found these are some little round pieces I probably won't use them but these came when my brother built that fiberglass shelf for me these are little extenders there's four or five of these I probably won't use them and of course red felt for the hat um, buttons for the eyes and probably the same for probably the same for button eyes for the real one and when I say the real one I mean the front porch one this is a prototype one this is one I'm going to do tonight real fast now I also want I want it to be well the flower pot is going to make it pretty heavy um, but I want some sort of a covering and what I have here is an old towel. And I was thinking that I would, I'm not real sure how I want to do this. Uh, that may be a little much. We'll see here. Let me, let me experiment here. <laughs> Can I tuck this under and down? Oh, it'll come up a little like that no I don't I guess I don't want it tucked under we'll just wrap it around like this wrap it around like this take my pen and put this one under here like that but I'm not sure that that's going to stay that's he'll lean so that that isn't going to work so I'll need some type I need to work out a way to do the covering maybe just fold it in half and wrap it around like that that'll work so for this for the night I'm just gonna wrap it this is just an old rag so body I'm gonna put body coat body coat and and mine is just a, a towel towel rag and for the real one, I'm thinking, oh, well, I could do, uh, I could do something similar, but I've got to seal this. I was thinking of getting some plaster of Paris, but why not just leave the flower pot as it is? So um, this, I'm going to have to research this too, because I, I may do a fabric one and seal it. I'm going to put sealed, sealed fabric. And by sealed, I mean put an, an acrylic coating around it, some sort of a sealant. So let's, let's prototype this. Let's just, let's get out my double-sided tape. <laughs> I'm going to do this as, this is going to be on the fly type thing. I'm going to wrap some double-sided tape around this. It's just a, it was sitting out in the, porch for the longest time this is double-sided uh, uh, carpet tape I'm just going to wrap it around this way and yeah my scissors are all on the floor <laughs> I don't want to use these can I 
reach them. Yeah. I'm going to use these. <laughs> I can't reach them, and I don't want to do it while I'm online. I don't like using my better scissors for cutting sticky stuff. But, hi, Holly Dalton. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Michelle. I'm just prototyping. I want to build some garden gnomes for my front porch. And I also want to do, I'm not going to do it tonight, but I want to do some plant pokes. And you know those rusty items that I got from Rosemary? I'm thinking, I'm thinking plant pokes with those. I've got to get this release paper off here. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to make, I got a harvest one and I got the capital A. Look how sticky this is. I'm just going to let it, let it be, let it be crunchy there. It's okay. And then I want to wrap the towel up at the top around this way and this way and let's poke him down a little bit more and get his fuzziness in there now he'll have a I'd like to have this come out a little though so let's 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 make this kind of like a little collar type thing I'm just prototyping this, just kind of thinking how I want to build my gnome. <laughs> Aw, I think he's cute already. Now, I had buttons out for the eyes, but I think I'll put a button down in, down in here. You guys can see it. A button here, and where's the other one? Oh, of course. Where's the other button? Here it is. Let's put a button there. And I'm just going to stick this on with tape for right now. Do I want a button on both sides of the collar? It almost looks like his eyes. Let's just put one button in the center. No. Uh, maybe smaller buttons. Let's see. I've got a jar of buttons. I do this stuff on the fly uh but I, i'm trying to prototype this out so that when i build it for real i'll have it all planned out so body coat was a towel rag buttons buttons and i'll probably use buttons on there too on the real one for the coat so, the question is, how am I going to seal the fabric? That's a open-ended question. Let's see if I can find some smaller buttons here. Just a one or two that might show up. A black one. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's use these just because they're here. Did you do that weird photo thing? Who are you talking to, Holly? What weird photo thing? Surprise, surprise, <laughs> Holly says. What weird photo thing are you talking about, Holly? I do a lot of weird things <laughs> if you're talking to me. Or are you talking to somebody else? Let's see, I think I will let this flip over that way. And let's just put one button like that for now. I like that. So let's put a piece of that tape on the button. And I'll just cut off a piece here. Weird photo thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Live chat. You're looking at it top down now. Let's flip it this way so you guys can see. Mina says, 
No, oh, she must have been talking to Mina. It's a Facebook app. Oh, I see. Okay. She's talking to Mina. <laughs> I never know if, who she's, who you guys are talking to, if you're talking to me or somebody else out there. Now, again, this is not meant to be, this is not meant to be permanent. This is just prototyping. Oh, I like him already. I like him already. Now, I know gnomes have red hats. So I have a piece of red felt here. And I, I'm going to have to find a sealer. Let me put, find a sealer. Let, where's my thick pen? Find a, a sealer for the outdoors one for fabric. Because if it's going to be outside on our front porch, you know it's going to get wet. And so, and I probably won't seal this. That This will be what it is. So, I need to make a cone shape out of this. So, yeah, let's put, again, this is prototype. Where's my tape? I have to keep reminding. It's a prototype. It's not meant to be permanent. It's, it's thinking about what I need to make a, a one for the front porch. And this is double-sided, double-sided carpet tape that I'm using here. And I really like it because it's strong. And it's very sticky. If I can get the release paper off here. Come on. There it goes. And I'm just gonna stick it on here just so that this won't flop open. So he'll have a coat. Now, I need to make a cone out of the hat. And I was thinking I'd do it like this. It needs to be longer. And, and let it, let's wrap it around here, like this, and let the long part hang in the back. And I have chopped off, this is just a piece that I had sitting around here, a scrap piece. So let's put his cap on him. And it'll go on like, like that. But there, it's going, on the back of him, it's going to be kind of weird for, for the prototype. So let's just kind of roll this into a cone shape. I'll start putting... Maybe even some double-sided tape on that. Yeah, double-sided tape. So, how am I going to make a cone shape? Well, probably similar, depending on what I have to think about what what I, material I want to use for the the hat. Do I want it to be fabric, and do I want to seal it, or do I want to make it out of? Uh, a cardboard or even make a, a tin sheet or a copper sheet, some sort of a metal sheet. We'll see. I can see a trip to the hardware store in my future. I'm trying to get the release paper off here. It's a little bit harder on fabric. Come on. There it goes. All right. So I'm just going to roll this into a cone shape. Come on. Like so. Is that too much? I don't think so. Let's let this fold under. I don't know if that's going to hold. Because it's felt. Try this. Sticky stuff. Sticky stuff. Let's see if this will stick. Let's put it there. And Pull the release paper off. Okay. 
roll it up that held pretty good now I'm gonna let the longer part here because this is just a, let me maybe trim that off a little because this was some I I had used for other projects let's just fast trim it like that and then I want this to go on my little gnome's head, which would go right in. Uh-oh, is it going to be too small? We might have to open this up a little. We might have to open it up a little so it'll fit his head. But then his, his mustache is always kind of, I mean, his beard is always kind of bushy anyway. And then it, it traditionally comes down like this, a little bent shape, like that. And I don't know if I can tape that down in there, or maybe I'll staple it. Hold on a minute, let me grab a staple. So that's another question, is how am I gonna make the hat? This, again, this is all prototyped here. This is this is something how I want my outdoors one to look. Let me squeeze this in and just staple it down. Oops, where's this? Where's this pocket here? We got to get it all straightened out. Wait till I get his hat on him. And how am I going to get the, probably glue, some sort of glue. I think I got the hat too, too small. There, that's better. So for right now, how am I going to attach that? So let me write that down. This is why you prototype thing because you're seeing what do I need to do. All right, hat, making hat. And then I'm going to put, um, I could see the hat being done out of some sort of metal that's been painted. And I think the, the little, I just stapled the bend here. It really needs to come more to the side like that. So, uh, how to make hat, hat bend. I know what that means. And uh, how to attach hat to head. <laughs> So these are things I need to figure out. I will probably just glue it. I would probably just glue it. And I could do that now with some glossy accent. Maybe I will. And I might put a little bit more tape on this. I don't mean this. Let me turn it this way so you guys can see it. I don't mean this piece that I'm doing right here to be permanent. This isn't anything. This is just kind of putting things together to figure out how I want it to look in the end. What, how I'm going to, I'm, this is kind of a planning piece. This keeps flopping open on me. I want to attach it down. Like that. So that'll be his jacket. I like that button there. But his back, his hat is not on right.
more like that, sort of like that. He's got to have some eyes. All right. And I was going to make the eyes out of cardboard, but I think I'll do the... I was going to put... I think I'll do the buttons again. Oh, and you guys are just seeing the top again. This is how he looks so far. Next month, I go back to have the other eye done. Are you having, oh, you're having a laser procedure done on your eyes? Thank you, Holly. Is that maybe white eyes would, or even I've got these brown buttons. They don't show up very much. I need some white buttons. I use, what did I use those white buttons for? I had two out. Let's see, wait here. Let me look for my white buttons. I could make gold buttons. No, I had those white ones out. Here they are. Here's one of them. And the eyes, the eyes just peek out, don't they? If I remember right. This hat is bothering me. It's not the way I want it to be. There. More like, more like that. More like that. So, and I could put the buttons right on. I think I want them under though. Because I think his hat kind of covers up the, let's, let's fool with the buttons here. On the hat. So I don't like this. Put that like that. Alright. Get out the old double-sided tape. And again, this is just me planning. This is this is not anything that's going to be permanent. This is just me saying what I what do I need? Where do I need to go with this? And this is much too much too temporary to be permanent. <laughs> I just want this these two to meet here. And then I want to put the eyes. I want the eyes to be peeking out this way and this way. Now, in real life, I'd probably sew those on or glue them on. But for a prototype, let's put the flat side up. The prototype, I'm just going to tape them on. <laughs> Yep, double-sided tape is my friend tonight. And now, I don't think I'm going to put a nose on him tonight. I might have to think about what I want to do for the nose. Oh, let's just put some tape right there on the button. And let's put it right in here. And we'll put another one right there. And lucky for me, this stuff is sticking to my fingers so I can get the release paper off. Yes? Yes. And let's put this one here. And I'll, I'll probably rip this all apart in the end. But this is just a planning stage. 
to see what can I do? How can I make my garden gnome? So his eyes are kind of peeking out. Let's put him on. Put his hat back on his head here. Oh, <laughs> he needs a nose. He needs some. He needs some eyeballs. Is what he needs. I kind of like the back of him. The back of him looks like this. So he does need a nose. So this is where I'm at so far. So what do I want to do? I want to plan out. Let me put my. I want to plan out what I need for the real stuff. So I want a flower pot. I want a large duster. I'll probably use white buttons for the eyes again. I have to find some sort of red fabric or or red material uh, maybe even a tin that's been painted red and folded into a cone shape uh, or even like a well i have to think about what i want there um, and if i use fabric i need a fabric sealer i need to get out the buttons i have to figure out how how i'm going to make the bend in the hat this is just all kind of folded real fast And do I need a nose? He needs some sort of a nose, so nose. I have to figure out what I want to do for the nose. So that's as far as I'm gonna to go tonight. <laughs> it's just I just wanted to come on real fast and show you guys what I'm thinking. Um Maybe his hat needs to come up a little and the more bushy, more bushy hair. Let's put more of the bushiness down. Maybe he needs more beard. And, you know, maybe eyeballs on the buttons. Let's see. I can probably, if I draw on them, I can probably wipe it off with alcohol. I don't know if I can draw on them. Well, I'm having fun. But I do think the hat needs to become up a lot higher and more of his more of his silky beard showing. So, I'll have to find the appropriate duster. Whoops, and his his head needs to match the front of the something like something like this. Only, I need it to be a little more. Something like this. So I need to gather my materials for the real stuff. I need flower pots. I need to figure out how I'm going to do. You know, what I might do for the hat and the head is get some screening and make the cone hat out of screening and then cover it with a, a a felt or a material and of course i'll have to i'll have to play with the eyes a little bit more i'll have to research gnomes and it he needs a nose he needs a nose i'll have to find something for the nose but here he is so far he's kind of weird like this is really the button on his coat i have to figure out this a little bit more, but yeah, prototype. <laughs> he's he's falling asleep now. He looks better to me if I stand him up and hit him t toward me. 
but then you guys can't see in the the fur the fur is falling on the inside there I'm not happy with the eyes I was just playing I was just playing this eye is coming off help <laughs> my eye Boy, that stuff is really stuck on there. Now, get that fur out of the... There. Angie says, I just wanted to say hello, ladies. I'm not going to stay. I'm not feeling good. Feel better, Angie. He's cute. <laughs> he looks a little like, huh? Who am I? <laughs> we'll have to think up of a name for him. I do like him now, just like that. But I, I, I'll have to figure out something for the nose. Maybe even a, a part of a plastic, red plastic cup or, a, you know, some sort of a cone shape cut out of a, even a styrofoam cup might work for cut out of the side you know what i'm talking about not the whole cup just a a portion of the cup for the nose and i'm gonna have to look at gnomes a little bit more but this got me started i have some things like i have this silk tie i thought might be fun to make a little tie for him I got a button there now, but there's where I am with it. Let's flip this paper over this way for my thumbnail. Oops. When I lay it down like that, this the head tends to wanna to fall to fall to the side. I need I need his head to stay up like so he looks better if I stand him up but then you guys can't see him very well I'm messing around with him yeah he needs a nose he needs a nose well I'll just sit and hold him like this <laughs> How am I going to, maybe this? Will that hold him? There. So his, his, uh, which, which really is interesting because if I make him for real, maybe I should put something on, on the inside so that the, the bushy hair won't, it starts to cave in over here. And okay, he may not be perfect, but he's a start. I'm dropping buttons here. It's a start. He needs a nose for sure, Michelle says. <laughs> he needs a nose. Ah, oh, thank you, Angie. Now he kind of looks like Oscar the Grouch at Christmas time, Holly says. He does kind of, doesn't he? <laughs> I think it's his eyes. And I don't think gnomes have mouths, do they? I don't think they do. I'm going to have to research. But I like the fuzziness of the duster. So, you know, depending on what kind of a shaggy duster that I can find. And this behind is going to be a flower pot. And I might get some screening to form the, you know, some window screening, some of that really pliable stuff to form the hat and then cover it with felt. And I have to look at some sort of a sealant. I'm sure I can get a clear coating sealant for it, a resin type thing. <sighs> okay. Thank you all for, for 
<laughs> listening to me plan out my gnome and we'll see what happens. We'll see if I really get him built. We might call this one Oscar right now. Oscar the Grouchy. <laughs> we'll just call him Oscar. He needs a round nose, maybe a puff ball. Yeah, a puff ball. Um, like a pom-pom type thing, yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to think what I have that would look something similar to that. Um, I don't have anything right at hand, I don't think. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking fast. I have this eyelash yarn, but I could probably roll that into a ball real fast. Let's see if I can make a puff ball out of this. Just kind of roll it. This eyelash yarn, just kind of roll it into a, a circle real fast. This kind of a nosy nose, <laughs> a furry nose. <laughs> Let's clip it off. Yeah, my scissors are all gunky now. I hate using my better scissors for that tape. All right. How does that look? <laughs> Good night, Michelle. Oops, it's all, it needs to be flatter. A puff ball might not work because it's pretty hairy. He's got a pretty hairy nose there. <laughs> I'm trying to flatten some of this down here. And I'm just going to set it on top of him. That represents the nose. <laughs> He's got, I got nose hair. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm happy with that. Maybe yarn. Um, maybe. Hmm. No, a pom-pom, a plain one. Yeah, I don't have any pom-poms, but I'm sure I can get them. Yeah, this isn't working for me either. I'd rather have him have no nose. We could just take a piece of paper and let me get a piece of scratch paper and just cut a nose out of scratch paper to represent... Wait a minute, I'm cutting a nose real fast here. Don't they have kind of cone-shaped noses? Something like that. And his eye is falling in again because I've got him I've got him flat. He needs to come out a little bit more like that. Do they have hands? Do gnomes have hands down there? So that's a question. Do I need hands? And then put a pom-pom on the top. Put a pom-pom here. I don't have another white button. That's the closest thing to white that I have. I wish that fur wouldn't fall in like that. Yeah. 
I'll pull that off. They do have hands. Okay, so I'll have to I'll have to plan out the hands. You can make him with or without hands. Okay. Well, I'm going to call him done for the night for the prototype. It was fun to plan. Now what I need to do is take what I have here and translate it into real upcyclable, like get a real flower pot, get a duster, get, you know, the like I said, if I use fabric, get the screening, decide what type of glue I'm going to use. But I want him to be taller too. Well, I could make, I could make uh, different sizes. This is kind of just, well, he's probably about a foot tall. He's probably about, maybe about 11, I think this is 11 inches here, uh, tall. So, but uh, I kind of want him to stand about a foot and a half, maybe two feet tall, because I want him to stand out with my potted plants on the porch. So we'll see. We'll see how this ends up in the... It might take me all summer. Who knows? <laughs> but maybe not because we're planning on going to town here pretty soon. And I'll look for stuff to make him with, to upcycle him with. The gnome will turn out great. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> I think he's cute too. This one is named Oscar. I, it, because he's laying flat, he, his head tends to, his eye doesn't have anything behind it, so it tends to want to squish in there. So, all right, everybody, good night. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's 11.30. I might be on later tomorrow. I don't know if I'm coming on. What is tomorrow's Thursday? I was planning on coming in. I don't know. If I'm not on... I didn't I didn't go live tomorrow morning. This is kind of impromptu tonight. So good night everybody. Thanks for thanks for watching me plan this out or at least think about planning it out. Bye. Sleep well.